here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, just a beautiful day to start the new work and school week, and we got another one on tap for you tomorrow. Wednesday as well. A little bit warmer in the afternoons until the front gets here early Thursday. We'll talk about its impacts coming up in just a bit, but it does look quite favorable through the entire weekend for Festival International. So let's look at the big picture. We have a slow moving low pressure system. This is the same one that brought the strong storms to the area early Sunday, and then the tornadoes over by uh, Galliano and then over toward Fort Walton Beach. Check out my uh, social media feeds for some incredible video uh, with those storms. But because it's been slow moving, this means we're been in a prolonged, nice, dry west northwest flow aloft. So we are looking at nice and quiet weather over the next several days. Uh, you can see that upper low spinning producing showers and storms across the nation's eastern half all the way down through Florida. But things are quieting down and some lingering clouds in our area, especially late this afternoon, but with the loss of daytime heating, those clouds evaporated, but they'll pick back up again tomorrow. This green patch right here is just some uh, Doppler noise coming from the Fort Polk Doppler radar there. As we look at the big picture through tomorrow, future cast indicating high pressure in charge, still a west northwest flow uh, of wind, so it should be just a lovely day. Temperatures up for 70s to near 80 tomorrow. We move into Wednesday, not much change, uh, maybe a degree or two warmer out ahead of our frontal boundary that we're talking about. And that front gets here early Thursday morning, but uh, we're not looking at too much in the way of scattered showers. Maybe a thunder shower will go 30% on your rain chances. Primarily Thursday morning, it should be out of here by Thursday afternoon. We look at the European model uh, showing the showers a little bit farther to the east as of noon on Thursday. Then we advance toward Friday. Another weak front comes in, but we can't go too high on the rain chances. No more than 10% for Friday, and it looks like we'll be kicking off festival Friday evening in the upper 60s and then we advance into Saturday and Sunday just looking like a nice uh, partly cloudy skies to mostly sunny skies and temperatures warming to near 80 for Sunday afternoon. Next real weather maker begins as we go into early next week Tuesday into Wednesday looks like pretty good chances of showers and thunderstorms nothing overly organized nor too heavy at this point but that's still a week away in the near term nice and cool tonight temperatures low to mid 50s northern portions of Acadiana will favor mid 50s I 10 quarter Lafayette always about a degree warmer. We have that little bit of a heat island effect that goes on in Lafayette and then along the coast mid 50s as well closer to 60 by the coast Ed Cameron. Then after that cool start we warm up nicely tomorrow afternoon upper 70s to near 80 and then we go back down into the mid to upper 50s tomorrow night a few degrees milder as we head into uh, Wednesday morning and then Wednesday afternoon we'll reach the lower 80s for sure between 3 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So Nice evening ahead, fair skies, seasonably cool temperatures will go 56 for the low. Thumbs up for tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, beautiful day, uh, some clouds in the afternoon. It looks very good indeed. Then your festival forecast, not too early to plan for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday evening. Wednesday evening is going to be the mildest of the evenings ahead in the mid 70s at 8 o'clock. Uh, we'll go a little bit cooler for Thursday and Friday evening, low to mid 60s, so light jacket, sweaters or a hoodie. And then Saturday and Sunday, it looks perfect. Mostly sunny skies, temperatures about 77 Saturday and 80 on Sunday. That's 25 to 27 Celsius. So as we move ahead, there's your slight rain chances early Thursday. Nothing significant after that and a good looking weekend. And for the first time in quite a while, not a day in the mid 80s for Festival, which is hmm. makes us stay out there maybe a little bit longer. So don't forget the sunblock, the hat and uh, whatever you need to stay hydrated. Yeah, two thumbs up for that forecast. Yeah, exactly there, right. Thank you very much. Still ahead tonight. Here on Acadiana's News Channel at 